See, you can always find really nice clay in creeks, riverbanks, if you dig for it. In this case, I didn't really have to dig at all. You saw this whole creek bottom. This whole creek bottom is really nice uh, clay. Now, it's... Um, I guess you could call it pure clay because the water helps uh, filter out all the sand and, and particles, rocks. This is really nice clay because of that. It's settled over years and years and years of um, the runoff, the, uh, the water running through it. And it's pretty much settled here with, uh, with not much particles in it now. If you really want to purify it, you'd have to go through this and put it in a bucket, let all the particles, you know, uh, come to the top, um, put the water through it again, let the, uh, let the clay itself run to the bottom now, essentially we don't have to do that step here because nature has already done that for us. All the real hard, pure clay has settled towards the bottom as you can see. And the water just uh, comes to the top and runs over the top of it. If you dig it out of the side of a hill, you'd have to allow, uh, allow it to sit in water. All the particles will rise to the top and the pure clay will be at the bottom. Nature has already purified, purified this uh, for us. Now we'll still have to go through this and see if there's any rocks in there because when we allow it to dry and then fire harden it, any rocks or particles in there will make it crack. So this is a Dakota fire pit. This is the air hole, or the fire will suck the air in, the draft hole. It's a little bit smaller than the fire hole itself, but um, they're connected by a bridge. Now, you can, uh, you can make the bridge out of a rock or anything else, you know, just dig a trench, put a rock on top, and that's essentially a Dakota fire pit as well. Um, some work more efficiently than others and that's the idea about this pit is uh, it's going to be uh, really efficient less smoke uh, it's going to be um, uh, more stealthy or however you want to call it you know if you don't want to draw attention to yourself 
uh, and have a big bonfire or a fire where you have a ring pit or or anything else you can build one of these and uh, essentially what you do is after you get done you just fill it back in and uh, you go on your go on, go on about your way uh, but it's really efficient it burns really wet really well because it has the air that drafts naturally and um, we're also going to use it as a kiln um, so stay tuned What's also good about this Dakota pit is I can line the top of this with really green sticks and cook on it. And by the time my meal is done, the sticks will still be intact and probably just getting ready to burn. You can see now once my fire has started, there's really minimal smoke and it's drawing all the air in and underneath and up. 